It's a 2013 Summit League Women's Basketball Tournament Preview. We're here with head coach J.D. Gravina. Coach, you guys come into the tournament on quite a bit of a hot streak, having won four of your last six. You guys are really playing your best basketball right now, you could say. Great homestand to finish off the season. You defeated Fort Wayne, who we'll talk about here more in a moment with your first round opponent. And if you finished off the season sweep of Oakland on senior day, are you guys playing your best basketball of the season at this point? Um, I do think we're playing our best basketball. You know, during our losing streak, I thought we really got better defensively and on the defensive boards. And we were struggling to score. We made a few adjustments in our offense and got our confidence back. And now things are starting to come together. You know, we've won four out of our last six. And even in our losses against South Dakota State and South Dakota, I thought we played pretty well. Um, so we're excited to be playing good basketball going into the tournament. Coach, one big reason for your hot streak, I think you got to say, is the play of your seniors, especially the three that have been in the starting lineup. Salt Lake Tonta Taite, Michelle Salvatore, and Jackie Rieger. What have they brought to your team and what have all five seniors meant to your program this season? Yeah, what I told the team the other day is I think the seniors have really left a legacy of overcoming adversity, um, all five of them. They've faced adversity this season, they faced them in their careers, and they faced them personally. And um, they've really fought through that adversity. And I, I think when we had that losing streak, that uh, their leadership helped our team bounce back. And um, now that we've been playing well, they've been a big part of it. And uh, Saleh has done a great job. She's hit some big shots down the stretch, which, which is important going into tournament time because a lot of games will be close. Michelle Salvatore has really reinvented herself as a player, um, even in the last two weeks of her career, which is really encouraging to see. We're a better team when she's on the floor and playing well. And Jackie Rieger has also really come along, and she's playing her best basketball this last month and has been a big part of our success. Coach, even before the exhibition season started, you were talking about Ashley Luke and the potential that she could have if she was ruled eligible. Well, we found out right before the exhibition season that she was going to be able to play and certainly made an impact for your program. And if you look at it, she's got a great opportunity to be named Summit League Newcomer of the Year. Yeah, I mean, we're incredibly blessed to have Ashley on our team. And uh, towards the beginning of the year, I wondered if I set expectations a little too high for her, um, you know, especially having sat out a year while at Wisconsin Green Bay. Um, but she just got better and better every single game. Um, she's been a double-double machine lately. And, you know, she's going to continue to get better. She still has room for improvement as a very driven athlete. So um, the, her emergence has been a huge part of our success, and it gives us a real scoring threat down low which helps open up our perimeter play. Coach you talked about the play on the perimeter certainly one big positive this year has been the play of your point guard Rebecca Hendrickson top 25 nationally in assist to turnover ratio and really she's one of the players that you look at the stat line she gets overlooked a lot but you look at her minutes played and what she does offensively and defensively for your team especially getting put on the other team's best player she's got to be a candidate for defense player of the league in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Becca is just a treat to coach. She is one of the toughest kids I've ever coached, um, a great defensive player. You know, I, I wish they kept track of stats for charges because I guess she'd lead the league in uh, charges taken. You know, she just will sacrifice her body. She gets through screens really hard. About every game she's got a bloody lip. And, you know, offensively, she's incredibly efficient. Like you mentioned, she um, is a, has a lot, a really good assist to turnover ratio. She takes care of the ball. She makes simple plays. And she's a kid that may not pop out on the stat sheet, but, you know, she's one of the most important players on our team. And she's definitely one of the most consistent players on our team. Coach, your quarterfinal opponent, Fort Wayne, you've had an interesting series with them this year. In fact, you had made mention at the Macomb Downtown Club that it's got to be one of the biggest point swings of any series of all Division I teams this year. You lose by 31 up at their place, but then last week you come, they come here and you beat them by 19. What was the key to the turnaround, and what's going to be a key to victory in the, first, in the uh, quarterfinal round? Well, you know, Fort Wayne's a really good team. They're a lot like us. They like to shoot the three, um, and with any team that shoots it, you're going to be naturally up and down, as, as we figured out. Um, I, I'd like to say it's some ingenious coaching move I made uh, with adjustments, and we did make some adjustments, but the truth of the matter is they played really well at their place, and we played pretty poorly. And on the flip side, I thought we played really well at our place, and, and they could probably play a lot better. So uh, what I hope in this tournament game is we'll get both teams' best game, and uh, it should be a really good game with two similar styles. It should be pretty up and down. Um, a lot of threes will be shot. Hopefully a lot will be made. And, uh, you know, defensively, we've got better at uh, our half-court defense. And if we can continue that improvement here this, uh, in the conference tournament, I think that will help us at least make them hit tough shots. 
Coach of Year, eight returning players. Every single one of them has at least a little bit of experience playing in the Summit League tournament. As a coach, how do you approach this tournament? Do you try and play it off as just any other game, or does everybody realize there is a lot more added importance to this? I think uh, it, it's a tough balance. I think defensively, we try to set the stage that there's more on the line that you know this is a bigger game than usual. Of course, that's hard because the regular season we're telling them how important every single game is. Uh, but offensively, we want to try to play relaxed and play comfortable and play confidently. And I think some teams can tend to get a little tight in postseason play. So uh, if we can try to differentiate the two, the attitude we have defensively that it's you know the a fist fight and the the biggest game uh, ever, but then offensively play relaxed like it's a pickup game. I think we can have the best of both worlds. Well, Coach, best of luck up in Sioux Falls. Fans, as a reminder, quarterfinal round against Fort Wayne, 12 o'clock on Sunday. Make sure you log on to GoLeatherneck's.com for all the latest information. You can listen to the games online, or better yet, come on up to Sioux Falls and watch the Leathernecks in person. For head coach J.D. Gravina, I'm Patrick Osterman. Thanks for watching.